You grab a bite, drive to work, and call your friends. We rely on machines to do it all, but most of those machines rely on a radiator to keep them from overheating. Just about 90% of the world's energy eventually winds up as heat. This often means metals like copper or aluminum are added to a machine's components, but that can add bulk and weight. Now material scientists have created the perfect replacement. This is the graphite foam. Graphite foam can conduct heat four times better than copper. It's hard but lightweight, one-fifth the weight of aluminum, with a unique Swiss cheese-like structure seen here under the microscope. The more pure, the larger these structures, the more lamellar or fluid these structures are, um, the higher the thermal conductivity is going to be of the foam. You can see the graphite foam taking heat from a hand and transferring it to an ice cube, melting it. So if you have a hot surface, hot structure, it, it, the heat's trying to get to a cold surface somewhere. In another demonstration, one side of this block is polyester resin, a material found in fiberglass. The other side is the same material, only it's coated with graphite foam. When a blowtorch hits the resin, it burns instantly. See the flame? But when it hits the foam, it doesn't burn. Polymer won't even burn because the foam is taking the heat from the surface so fast the polymer can't reach its flash temperature. Graphite foam can withstand temperatures up to 3200 degrees Celsius. From computer chips to cookware, the graphite foam can be used in just about anything. If we put the foam in the bottom of this and we distribute the heat more uniformly, it boils uniformly, it heats uniformly, and you can have a more effective cooking. A new material to keep your world running. I'm Alex Kane reporting.